webinar offered by the Crew Plus Academy. So Crew Plus has many uh, capacity building activities and we bundle them up into this platform we call the Crew Plus Academy. It's a, for now, virtual capacity building series. And the idea is to provide information and share knowledge um, from the GEF Group project and obviously from partners around the region um, on topics on integrated water and water resource management solutions in the wider Caribbean region, or in short, water and sanitation. Um, if we're ready, um, just kindly ask everyone just to keep your mics and cameras off uh, during the presentation. And I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Kyron. Uh, he holds an MBA from the Mona School of Business in UWI campus in Jamaica, and also a bachelor's in civil engineering from the University of West Indies and St. Augustine campus in Trinidad and Tobago. As a civil engineer, he has over 20 years of experience, primarily in the public sector and wastewater and water and wastewater sector. Um, he has been an employee for the NWC, the National Water Commission in Jamaica since 2000, um, having begun his journey there as a project engineer and now it's, he's uh, currently a senior project manager where he has worked and he has worked on and managed the design and implementation of a number of water and wastewater capital projects for the NWC. Uh, significant importance has been his role as project manager for the GEF IDB crew project, so the as I mentioned, the previous project of, of this in Jamaica and the rehabilitation and upgrading of a number of wastewater treatment plants operated by the NWC. He is also a member of the Jamaica Institution of Engineers and the Professional Engineer Registration Board. So with that, um, Kyron, I would uh, kindly re request, um, I, so the, your, your slides are up, just let me know when you're, when you're ready and I will pass them along. So over to you. Uh, thank you, Joaquin. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, before I begin my presentation, I'd like to thank you all for this opportunity to share mine and the National Water Commission's experience in this initiative. Um, I'd also like to um, pay special thanks to the team comprising the GEF, the IDB, UNEP, SEP, excuse me for pronouncing it wrong, the GIV, um, organizational of Organization of American States and other supporting partners who have contributed to the Crew Plus and the initiatives um, for these webinars. Um, I think this is an important in initiative and surely you the participants. Um, I'm grateful um, to have such keen interest in my presentation. You can go ahead with the first slide. Okay. Um, my experience, and in fact, the Water Commission's experience of the Credit Enhancement Facility and financial mechanism established by the NWC during the crew project, um, which began for us in 2011. Um, before I divulge, I'd like to, in the meter of uh, my presentation, I'd like to wish and make mention of, as well as give some background and present details of my organization, the National Water Commission, which will help to support and give reasons for the creation of the credit enhancement facility. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide, please. Um, it's it's it moved, but I, I can oh, notice. Okay. There's a, yeah, it seems that to be a, a few seconds delay. All right, um, about the Water Commission. Um, NWC, as it's commonly termed in, in Jamaica here, is governed by the National Water Commission Act, which was established in 1980 and was formally established in 1980 through the amalgamation of the Kinson and St. Andrew Water Commission and the rural, rural focused water authority. Um, resulting from this amalgamation, um, it, it included the merger of some major systems island-wide under one authority, which managed over 1,100 facilities. That would include tanks, treatment plants, pump stations, wells, etc. 
Since then, different approaches and organizational arrangements have been used to extend water supply to various sections of the country, which spans approximately 11,000 square kilometers to a population of some 2.9 million persons. Today, the National Water Commission is a primary provider of potable water in Jamaica, supplying more than 2 million persons with water services daily and more than half a million of those persons with wastewater services. The services is provided through a, a staff complement of over 2,000 persons, um, a cadre of permanent and temporary staff. Joaquin, uh, we, we still, oh, okay, yeah, there it comes. Um, a glance at the capital facilities um, as it relates to the Water Commission. A number of our facilities are quite aged and under maintained as a result of limited financial resources to adequately maintain and upgrade their infrastructure, as well as address all challenges which we face on a day-to-day -day basis with the requisite services to, to our customers. At the National Water Commission, NWC, numerous facilities which we own and operate consume some 160 million kilowatt hours annually and this translates approximately to 29 million US. Next slide. Over the past 10 plus years, our average capital expenditure is around 37 million US dollars. And we currently have a 10 year capital investment program, which would have begun in 2020, where we hope to spend some $300 million over the next 10 years. Next slide. Next slide as well. As part of our strategic objective um, and in recognition of the need for further improvement in operations and service delivery, the NWC has embarked on ambitious and an, an ambitious transformational program tied to its vision of becoming the number one water service utility in the Caribbean and Latin America um, by the next 10 years. And in seeking to fulfill this mission of contributing positive to to the national development and providing high quality potable water and sewage services to residents and businesses through a component of motivated team and a cost effective and sustainable manner. Um, we hope to achieve most of these strat strategies through our capital investment, where we hope to improve operational efficiencies, increase billing, um, Im improved process technology, expansion of service and help, I mean, make our, our systems more climate resilient, as well as improve and grow our, our financial um, viability for the organization. Next slide. Um, how we plan to do this, it will be very based on a number of scenarios and options, um, how we will formulate our capital investment decisions. And on the screen, you can see that um, one either will consider consolidation of our services or increase our coverage, uh, rehabilitation works versus expansion of facilities and, and infrastructure. Um, how we target whether our rural communities are in our urban centers, um, whether we deal with sewer network or a portable water network, as well as reduce our non-revenue water or increase, increase our production levels. Next slide. The NWC is, is, is managed um, across the island of Jamaica and on the screen you can see the number of projects which we would have um, embarked on or executed or currently executing um, for our financial year 2020-21. Um, I don't expect anybody to read the screen but just to have an idea of how um, widespread our operations are in terms of works that we are currently doing to improve our service and deliver um, if not the best good service to, to, to our customers. Next slide. Um, with, 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 with all of this operation that is done by the Water Commission, we are um, managed by and regulated by a number of entities. Um, often there are some key key um, regulators, one of them being the Office of Utilities Regulation, and they deal with our economic um, issues and 
help to set our tariff um, plus monitor service service or service standards. Uh, the Ministry of Health as it relates to our water quality situations. Um, the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, they monitor um, on an environmental um, basis. So our Water Resource Authority um, deals with our um, licensing for abstractions and monitoring of water that we receive and treat. And the Bureau of Standards and the Ministry of Finance, to name a few. Next slide. Um, while we, while, while, while executing um, a lot of our capital projects, we are in a mix of, of, of financing options, um, which we would have either been done through multilaterals or using loans um, within our, our, our local setting, um, support from grants and, and other, other, other funding sources. Um, on the screen here, you will see what was comprised how the mix look for our um, financial um, planning for execution of works in the financial year 2021. Um, of this, we would have our plan to spend over uh, roughly about 50 million US dollars for that budget period, just on our investment programs. Uh, next slide. As it relates to the to the crew and the establishment of the financial mechanism, with the signing of the Caribbean Regional Fund for Wastewater Management, uh, which was a non-reimbursable financing agreement or technical cooperation agreement with the IDB through the GEFT in 2011, an opportunity was presented to the National Water Commission through um, the government of Jamaica as a beneficiary to, to explore several options to finance capital project works in the wastewater, primarily in the wastewater sector of the water sector. Um, and similarly, there were ag ag agreements um, in other pilot countries, which would have included Belize, Barbados, Guyana, and Trinidad and Tobago, uh, along with the support from the Jeff and, and other partners, um, which are supporting them today um, in the Crew Plus. Uh, the initiative was aimed at facilitating greater investment and development of wastewater management in the Caribbean, primarily through the testing of innovative financing options to support wastewater related projects, projects as in general, um, funding for wastewater and water utility companies are, are directed to portable water projects as opposed to wastewater projects. So um, what we would have termed um, during the crew is that um, wastewater was, <laughs> for, for want of a, letter, a better phrase, uh, was the ugly sister of the water. And as such, nobody really paid it much attention because it wasn't savvy in nature. Um, the crew project also supported the need for identifying and bringing wastewater projects to bankable status, as well as um, it brought more awareness to management of wastewater in the wider Caribbean countries. In addition to that, it offered training and improvement in the legislative initiative and frameworks which were to take place in Jamaica as it relates to wastewater and offered um, um, good knowledge sharing between um, participants and countries who were interested in the wastewater sector as well as in the GEF itself. Next slide. Um, here I have presented a, a, a template of what I understood the Jeff to mean to us um, at the NWC and how it operated with the other pilot piloting countries. Um, it was based on the $20 million gift that was distributed to the five um, earlier mentioned um, territories, territory which would have included Jamaica. And these engagements were managed through the IDB and UNEP um, which were very supportive in helping us to, to, to make the best of the initiative. Um, to this date, we are very grateful and um, hence we are here to support the Crew Plus and the initiatives of the Jeff and other partners. Um, crucial to the, to, the, to the initiative of the crew in Jamaica, however, and the formulation of the credit enhancement facility um, was the enabling environment which supported the financial mechanism. Next slide. Um, some of those crucial um, 
items that, that help to foster or bolster the development of the, the credit enhancement facility would have been the water policy which existed then, and it was created in 2002. And uh, this helped and um, push the agenda of water and wastewater issues in Jamaica, uh, set out by the government of Jamaica and all the supporting institutions therein. The NWC was also mandated to, to be commercially viable as a statutory entity under the government. As such, we are expected to align ourselves with a tariff structure based on agreed standards with our economic regula regulator, um, the OUR, um, as mentioned, the Office of um, Utilities Regulator, and establish cost recovery mechanisms to ensure that direct beneficiaries pay towards and help us to be sustainable. And key in the policy was the, the, the encouragement of private sector particip participation, which tied in with what the, the crew was, 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 was also targeting as well, the involvement of private sector. Next. Um, one of the, the biggest, if not the, 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 a very important factor in the overall enabling environment, as I indicated, is our is our tariff structure um, within our tariff, um, which is based on our determination notice, which was um, approved by the OER in 20, 20, 2008 in April. Um, it established certain concepts and 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 which which one I would like to emphasize here uh, a K factor um, funding mechanism, which is actually a special provision um, which we have deemed K factor and it allowed it's something that was built in our in our in our build structure and it is one that helps to to support a lot of our activities that we currently do at the water commission um, the tariff structure allows for um, funds a percentage of funds to be dedicated in a special account and these funds are from the build to the build under the, the, the customer's bill and those funds are used to support um, initiatives to, to create improvements in the water commission as well as to support special um, service requirements to which the, the customer would benefit. In addition to that, there is the X factor, which, which um, is is one would say rival to the X to the K factor, um, and this is this is basically the payback that we offer to our customers, um, having taken or used the K factor funds to support um, capital investment or, or initiatives to make the water commission more efficient and also to provide um, improved services to our customers. Um, at this point in time, the K factor is approximately nine point, sorry, fourteen percent, while the X factor is uh, minus five point five percent, given an overall net K factor of nine point five percent, and that is off the, the 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 customer's bill. So all customers would have had a charge K factor applied um, to their bill, and these. These, these funds uh, are earmarked in a special account, which are only used for specific tasks as outlined by our regulator, the OER. Could you go to the next slide, please? Um, again, this is what our bill looks like. And at the, at the, at the bottom of the, of the bill itself, outlines what the K factor um, values would be. I'm on, unfortunately, the screen isn't big enough so that you can see it, but um, that's typically how um, customers are aware of what our K factor percentage is, and that allotment is of, of their bill is is um, transferred to a special account which is managed by the OUR and the Water Commission, for which we're only able to use those funds to support initiatives in wastewater and special um, circumstances for water. Next slide. Um, this is a look of uh, a picture of what our, our wastewater services look like. 
um, in Jamaica. Um, we have a concentration of, of, of wastewater facilities or in terms of volume as well as numbers in our corporate area, that's Kingston, um, St. Catherine, um, Ocherius, which is in the north, and to the to the northwest, Montego Bay, as well as Negril treatment plants. Um, those are are primarily our main facilities. Um, and at this moment in time, the NWC operates and manages some 70 plus wastewater facilities. Many of them are are handed over to us having been associated with um, developments, um, subdivisions that were handed over to us after some time of operation. And many of them to this date are, are now seeing themselves as being um, live their, their useful life. And so the NWC is now making amends to have these facilities upgraded or reconstructed or just decommissioned. Next slide. Um, a, a bit of, of points raised here. Um, we hope to, to, to spend over the next 10 years um, in the order of $35 million um, US to improve some of our facilities. This might be more, uh, but we hope at least at this point, initial stage, to spend some $35 million going forward. A lot of our, 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 our systems are energy intensive and operational cost is a challenge for us. Our biggest, our biggest supplier, sorry, our biggest expense would be our our payments, our monthly payments to our public, uh, our public um, power supply service. That's Jamaica Public Service um, JPS. And in addition to that, some of the issues that would help to 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 set the the, the enabling environment for us um, as it relates to the execution of the crew then was the the establishment of a revised. Um, regulation for our wastewater and sludge um, enforced by our our environmental um, regulator NEPA. So again, as I mentioned, for our credit enhancement facility um, establishment, it was key that we had the enabling environment and those were supported through mainly our tariff structure um, some legal frameworks being established by our, our, our regulators, such as NEPA, in terms of their um, regulations for us to, to force our hands to improve our wastewater our, um, systems because of their poor performance in terms of um, effluent being produced. Um, so NWC was, 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 was pressed on finding financial resources to execute a number of, of wastewater projects for which under the crew we um, initially started to, to address 13. However, given the funds that were available from the uh, financial mechanism, we were only able to execute eight of them. Next slide. Um, some of the, 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 the incentives for us for really taking on the crew was the benefits that would have been derived, and this would have included a reduction in pollution and adverse impact on our environment in Jamaica, um, the reduce on the threat of public health, an improvement in the NWC's operational efficiency and service delivery to our customers, um, increased household um, connections and expansions to the sewage network um, would obviously stimulate some development in other areas such as tourism and other sectors like um, agriculture as well. And we'll be compliant with our, our regulators, um, primarily um, our NEPA, um, who would have been able to, 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 to force our hands with the new regulations that were established in 2013. 
Next slide. Um, during, during the crew period, um, the first phase of crew, these are the options that were available to NWC. Um, or, or this were, these were the options that we, we found as options to finance activities within our, our domain of executing capital projects. Um, it, it's a good mix and we, we sought to have other options. And so we, we took on the, the task of taking on the, the, the crew, which, which, which supported what we wanted in terms of finding ways and means of um, finding um, financial resources to support the execution of wastewater works within the organization. Next slide. Uh, how the crew actually work, how the crew credit enhancement facility actually worked was um, from the, the GEF, uh, which we would have received the, the $3 million grant, the NWC was able to use that money to, to secure a commercial loan, um, totaling some close to $12 million US. Um, this was actually converted to $3 million um, US and approximately uh, 1.4 billion Jamaican dollars as or many of the works were being paid in, in, in two currencies. Um, NWC was able to pledge um, the portion of um, its projected revenue stream, and that was primarily from our K factor. Um, the, the, the financial institution was able to see all the funds coming into the account and would know that um, these were, were offered as some security to support any shortfall um, if revenue streams, streams were to, 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 to have some shortfall. And the projected annual revenue streams were greater than our debt service obligation. So there was always a, a positive there. And so the financial institution was very comfortable. Next slide. This is a, a, a typical um, process flow of what we were able to do in terms of how the crew financial mechanism um, operated. As you can see, to the left of the at right of the screen, um, you would have seen the, the GEF there with their their support of the three million dollars, which was offered to the crew, particularly in Jamaica, for the credit enhancement facility. And we had engaged a financial institute, local financial institution, National Commercial Bank (NCB) as our lender of the twelve million dollar, which was used to support. Um, the initiatives of um, rehabilitate, rehabilitating and upgrading um, a number of our wastewater facilities that were able to, to offer good service to our customers who in return would continue to pay and, and support in the, in the K-Factor funds flows, which would allow us to, to make our regular payments um, to our financial institution as per the agreement, um, we, which we would have um, contracted with them to establish the financial mechanism. Next slide. Um, how it actually started um, in terms of the establishment of the financial mechanism um, agreement, we initially had gone out to seek proposals for capital financing in 2010. Um, of which several local financial local institutions showed interest. Um, I believe it was about seven um, by their collecting of tender documents or bid documents. And unfortunately, and I, and I suppose that one of the challenges that these financial institutions had then was um, during that period, it was the, there was the, the, the Great Depression of the, the, the global financial crisis in 2010, which surely would have um, caused for banks and other financial institutions to be a little bit more um, conservative in terms of taking on new, new tasks or developmental projects. And as such, it was only an NCB that showed interest or was willing to take on this task. Um, their proposal in, 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 in 2012 um, was quite 
um, interested for the NWC who haven't um, analyzed the, their proposal, uh, being the only bank, um, realized that the initial offering from NCB would have yielded a blended interest of about 7.3% um, repayment. So um, this in itself would have required us getting special approvals from our the Ministry of Finance as well as the cabinet, the highest level, because NWC is government owned and as such um, we operate under a particular set of guidelines for which certain approvals have to be issued. Um, it took some time to be established, however, um, we are grateful that at this point in time we had concluded the agreement in terms of um, finalizing our arrangements with, with with NCB and were able to support the the financing of the execution of the projects. Next slide. Uh, here you can see uh, a bit of um, summary as it relates to the, the initial offering from um, NCB. Um, the funds were distributed in, in two tranches, tranche A and tranche B, for which tranche A was secured um, the tranche A in the sum of three million dollars was basically secured with the the finances um, received from the grant from the Jeff, and the other portion was service um, through our K factor as well, and this was at a percentage of a, a fixed fixed percentage of about eight point seven five percent. Um, we had negotiated further down the line with um, NCB and had a revised um, financial agreement um, later down. Next slide. Um, this was some of our assessment that was done on the original tranche A and B. This would have been the mix um, interest rate that would have been um, generated at about 9.46%. See that down the bottom of the screen and the next slide. Um, for just tranche A alone, um, the projected effective annual interest rate we would have seen at about 4%. Uh, next slide. And whilst the tranche B, which, which was affiliated with the $9 million or US um, Billion, nine million US dollars that would have been um, an annual effect, effective interest rate of about 12%. Next slide. Following our negotiations with, with, with the NCB though, um, which concluded finally in 2015, we were able to, to have the following um, terms established between us ourselves. As indicated, um, NWC sought to to negotiate on the $9 million tranche by converting it to a, a lo to local currencies because currently the NWC really and truly does not, and this was almost mandated by the, the government because we don't earn um, foreign exchange. We were to lower the risk by having um, that $9 million portion converted to to Jamaican dollars, which was an equivalent of about 1 billion Jamaican dollars. Next slide. Um, some of the challenges we had in establishing the financial mechanism um, were owing primarily to, to some of the challenges um, in terms of the, the, the length of time it took to establish the agreement with the commercial bank, and this was owing primarily due to or the different tiers of approval that NWC has to, to, to receive um, as it relates to such agreements. Um, we have to get reviews from the Ministry of Finance and because the financing is being done with the aid of our, our K-factor funds, then our economic regulator, OUR, has a part in it to play and then the overall approval by the cabinet um, is one that also would take time. 
in addition to this, um, managing the relationship between the between NCB and um, ourselves, um, one could see that given the length of time, um, there were there were thoughts of 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 not continuing the process. However, again, we were able to execute same by 2015. Um, another another issue that also impacted how the financial mechanism worked um, was whereas we could have concluded some of the, 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 the loan terms or the loan agreement to establish the financial mechanism earlier, um, we were unable to do so given that these the terms are fixed to the, the construction activities as well of, of, of the projects that would have been executed. And many of these um, RFP documents were not finalized or awarded as contract until in 2015. Um, having, start, have, have, having signed the loan, we would have incurred um, a number of charges as we would not be able to, 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 to draw down the requisite funds um, to do anything then because project activities were not finalized in terms of contractual agreements. Next slide. Um, the experience to date with regards to, to the venture, this venture with NCB and establishing the capital financing mechanism for wastewater projects had proved to be very worthwhile for the NWC. And from the experience, one can say that there was and there has been some lessons learned which will assist in improve, improving how the NWC's future involvement, participation and exploitation of the benefits and similar, similar initiatives can be improved for the financing of wastewater and water projects. Um, some of the lessons um, that were learned was one, the right timing. Um, the financial market was not fully explored then to obtain much or uh, improved rates which with more competitors as during the time of request for proposals, um, the crew financial crew capital project, um, capital financing projects in 2011, it was surmised that um, the low response from the financial institution again was was due in part to the Great Depression, as I had indicated, that global financial crisis in 2010, as well as other institutions such as the request was was. This, as this request was quite novel, so um, many thought it was possible, possibly a little bit too risky for their, their concerns. Um, the readiness of capital projects, again, I mentioned that ideally it would have been better to have the, the capital project contracts ready before engaging in the, in, in the contractual arrangement with the financial institution, as waiting for the final, finalization of the NCB loan, there were time-bound commitments um, which impacted the amount that we had available to draw down from in the end. Um, I mentioned the management of the key stakeholders, the OUR, NCB, even the, the government, the cabinet and the Ministry of Finance. Um, the compatibility or the right fit. Um, the crew credit enhancement facility with NCB is typical, is a typical scenario um, which our own economic regulators expect us to use. And this is as they expect um, the, the K-factor funds to be used to leverage loans um, to, to do capital investments, as opposed to paying um, for works directly from the K-factor fund. So um, there was some compatibility for this, this model. And as such, um, we it was good to, to, to have and we hope to, to, to bank more on, 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 on such scenarios. Um, with, with, with the tariff structure, we were able to leverage more reasonable rates than we would normally be able to with local financial institutions. Um, part, of, part of the situation that exists uh, in terms of exploiting the benefits, we now know that with the recent success and experience with NWC, and an NCB crew, um, we are we are we are able to express um, interest by others as well. So we expect more 
financial institutions to, to partake in 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 such exercise should NWC um, consider to have them later on in the future. Um, and with the experience of the lengthy agreement negotiations with NCB, NWC is now more keen on the level of risk exposure um, that the local banks are willing to absorb and can readily use these details to exploit um, or forge develop um, or forge opportunities um, likely from the anticipated constraints the financial institutions would want to incorporate into their terms of agreement. Um, obviously, we'd want to have a contingency plan and, and, and this, this mechanism did offer that, that avenue of a capital financing outside of those um, that we're accustomed to, and that is the multilaterals um, such as IDB, funding from the multilaterals such as IDB, EU, JICA, CDB, as well as other government guarantee issues. Um, so in essence, um, though the system established is not perfect, it has benefited the NWC. Um, this initiative has been a good tool for the National Water Commission and I would say has served as another avenue in which the organization can establish um, suitable levels of sustainable financing to support aspects of its operational and developmental plans and surely will assist with providing the desired level of service to its customers and support its goal of becoming um, one, if not the number one um, water service utility in the Caribbean and Latin America by the next 10 years. So. I would want to say thank you um, for your attention and I trust that I was able to able to inspire or invoke some thoughts which could allow you and, and the organizations you serve to find similar improved ways of creating a financial mechanism to aid with your capital investment programs and developmental plans. Thank you. Aaron, thank you uh, so much for your uh, great presentation. I apologize towards the end there. Uh, power went out here at the at my house and lost connection. So apologize for that. That's all right. Um, but anyhow, th thank you so much. Um, we we are very grateful to hear the experience from Jamaica, and I would like to now open um, see if we have any any questions from from any of any of the channels. Um, let's see if we get some some questions flowing in. Katarina, please go ahead. Hi, yeah, thank you so much, Kyron. Um, also for mentioning um, the tariff structure, which I think is um, quite uh, uh, key to also understanding how, why you came to choose right and the, the credit enhancement facility as a mechanism. Um, uh, could you be just because for the um, like for better understanding maybe explain a bit more in lay people's terms the the structure of that tariff. Um, I, I I mean to say that probably not everybody is, is aware of what the K and X factor structure does and how it already generates a certain level of refinancing to the system. And my second um, question would be, so um, maybe how, how did you come to identify specifically the, the issue of um, of the credit enhancement facility. I understand that it has to do with you already have a good level of, of financing for investment, but you wanted to sort of leverage that. If, if that's if that's what I've come to understand, but maybe you could you could um, expand a bit on that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Catalina, for the questions. Um, as it relates to the to the K factor or, or tariff structure, um, currently the NWC um, over the last probably ten years, we are 
based on our arrangement with the OUR, who is, again is our manages or our regulates our tariff, um, we have to apply at least every three years. We have to apply for rate increase. Um, an application is made. Um, as I said, now every three years, and within that, in within that three that tariff application, we propose amounts for or K factor, um, and I, again that is a special surcharge which was developed originally by the OUR who who realized some of the issues that we had in terms of operating a lot of old infrastructure. And because of the overall issues with available financing, they, along with the NWC, um, created this, this surcharge um, on NWC customer bills, which allowed for funds to be transferred. And these funds are, are, are basically considered a loan from the the K factor is considered a loan from the customers towards um, creating or right, make it doing improvement works that at the end of the day will benefit both the NWC. One, the NWC will have a more efficient um, infrastructure which would allow for improved service delivery to, to the customers. So there and then, the customers would be benefiting from the efficiency gains that we would have achieved. And I made mention of the X factor. Along with that, there is also a pay. The X factor is really a payback on the, the, the K factor, or the loan that the customer would have given us, um, which is, a, again, a percentage of the customer's bill, um, which would have been the K factor as indicated. But we would have paid back on the customer's account, which would be a, a negative um, figure placed on the customer's bill and, and it's represented by a percentage. Um, depending on the application and the approvals given by OUR in terms of the value that we propose um, for the K factor or X factor values, then they, they would make some allowances either to increase it or decrease it. Um, okay, so that makes visible to the customer as well that there's an improvement in efficiency in or fact, in the interest. In fact, part of, in, in fact, part of our tariff requirements allows for us to make presentation and to have our application public to the customers. So they, during the review period that the OUR um, has our application, the customers are asked to participate in that. Um, approval process in some way or form by us making presentation and, and the OUR using the feedback from the customers to make their final decision as to what the tariff would be or what it would comprise of and that would also look at what the K factor amount percentage would be as well as the X factor amount would be. Great. Um, I think Mario has added a bit to my second question, Kyren. Mm -hmm. um, so he's asking, and there were two options in the crew one phase, right? Um, one was to install a revolving fund, and one was the facility, right? The credit enhancement facility. Yes. The other, other, the other participants, participating countries, um, had participated in a revolving fund. Um, well, let me hear the question. No, let me let have have Maria finish the question. The question was um, why why you opted for this um, for the enhanced credit enhancement facility um, uh, and what the factors uh, what factored into your decision. All right, um, I would have in my presentation made reference to the enabling environment. Um, one for the revolving um, system, we weren't too keen on that there and then. Um, however, as mentioned before, the OUR um, having established the K factor account or system wanted us from ever since to use these K factor flows to 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 to, to seek loans 
to support capital financing projects of wastewater and okay. other special water initiatives. In addition to that, um, we were we were because of some of the legal frameworks that existed during the time of the crew, um, which would have been some of the regulations that were imposed by our our environmental regulation regulators, which was also supported by the OUR, because in our in our tariff application and, and determination notice offered by the the OUR, there are there are there is a key note that speaks to us having to mandate the improvement of uh, a number of wastewater facilities uh, under that original 2008 um, determination notice that the OUR provided it named 44 wastewater facilities that needed to be upgraded and or uh, reconstructed and these are some of the these are the projects that we had applied to um, have works done um, during the crew program. Um, the enabling environment also would have been this regulations to have the facilities meet a particular um, effluent standard. Um, previously, many of our plants were designed and constructed for up to secondary treatment. As of 2013, 20, 20, 2013 and 2017, the regulation, the improved regulations spoke more to a tertiary treatment level. And as such, um, NWC had to find ways and means of securing funds to start this process of upgrading these facilities. Otherwise, we would have been sanctioned. So um, these, this, as well as the, 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 the water policy, um, which encouraged that we would have to have private sector partnership get involved with 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 our initiatives in terms of wastewater and water, we found it as the more suitable option to take and to use the the the, the funds that were issued to us um, from the Jeff to to support um, the establishment of a credit enhancement facility. All right. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Um, I don't know if there's any other questions, comments, maybe from the Spanish. So the question we just got, Karen, was coming from the Spanish channel. Okay. Um, I don't know if you only have any other questions or comments. Hello, Pedro, I saw you, you joined. Si, hola. How are you, Pedro? Fine, fine, thanks. There's okay, a Ma question Mario, from the is, Spanish channel. And yeah, mine is giving a follow up question. Um, Catalina, do, do, you, do you mind? Or? Let me see. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, Karen, so Mario is asking, let me see if I, it's in Spanish, so let me translate it as I read it. <clears throat> so he's saying that it's mentioned that the tariff cannot cover the operating costs. Um, and there you're analyzing options to reduce this operating costs. So considering those existing technological options with uh, with a with a minor operating cost, would that not uh, have an impact directly on the tariff? I mean, you, Karen, I think it's because you mentioned the the uh, the quite substantial costs of energy in the system, and I guess the question goes along the lines of: Are you looking to sort of improve the system towards more nature-based solutions, something like that, that maybe have less operating costs? E yes. Um, short answer is yes. Um, at this point in time, um, we, we, we have for some time realized that our energy bill is quite heavy and we are looking to do a lot more renewable aspects or reuse 
in terms of as it relates to wastewater and using renewables such as solar energy um, to 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 handle a lot of our operations in in our facilities um, and looking at new 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 technologies that would support a more sustainable and effective and efficient um, operation of NWC services. Um, currently, um, while we are wrapping up in terms of the, 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 the agreement with um, NCB in terms of our loan obligation, the, the final payments um, within the next, um, early next year, um, we are planning to use the secured funds that we had received from the GIF along with funds of our own to create a bigger package um, to leverage more financing so that we can ex execute a lot of these um, renewable type um, aspects or capital investments um, to ensure that we can at least limit our expenditure as it concerns energy consumption. Mm -hmm. Great. Great, thank you, Karen. Um, let's see if we have any other coming questions. Did we answer the Mario's question or is there another follow-up? Yeah. Know. Mario, if you can hear us, if you have any other follow-up questions, feel free to send them over. Otherwise, I don't know, Katarina, if you would like to, uh, don't want to put you, yes, he says yes. Uh, thank you. Um, I don't want to put you in the spot. If you want to share, taking the, the space, a little bit of um, the work that Crew Plus is doing on financial mechanisms. Sure. So I think it's, um, it's really um, interesting to hear from this, um, let's say, national level um, mechanism and let's say the 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 market that you were playing at uh, and uh, that I think you've you're uh, that, that you're trying to um, obviously adjust to um, at every step of the way but that you're making that you keep make, making use of these of this investment in, in the crew phase so this phase um, is actually more uh, let's say more focused even on the um, on getting let's say local practices on the ground so looking at from the local perspective let's say upward right and um, how do we secure uh, financing um, how do we generate the capacities necessary for uh, project development from the local perspective um, how do we reduce risk for private investment at the local level into sanitation infrastructure by for instance creating right um agreements at the community level that um, that certain investments um, will be made in conjunction between different private actors. So this is uh, what we'll be working on. But we'll definitely, um, we also have a few cases that will look to the Jamaican, uh, let's say, a practice, good practice um, experience. So there's a um, uh, some work go ongoing on tariff reform. Uh, the, I know Trinidad is eyeing the the option of uh, introducing K and X factor systems. And in, in there, um, we're working with Colombia and the Dominican Republic on improvements to the tariff system. Um, and uh, we're working with um, Costa Rica on a on a mechanism. It, but following in the footsteps of, of crew one. So I think your experience will be very much appreci appreciated and, and, and sought um, for as a reference. So thank you so much. And Mario has sent another question. So would you, Mario, would you like to just, oh, oh you said you answered the question, okay. So I think that would be my my closing remarks on this. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you as well. And all of those initiatives sounds quite interesting. And I'm I'm I'm, I'm hoping I'll be around on the journey to hear 
and see all the good that will be happening from the cool plus. Okay, thanks. Thank you so much, uh, Karen. Um, Susana has uh, from UNIP has very uh, nicely um, added some surveys into the chat. So if you feel like you want to help us uh, improve these these uh, webinar sessions, feel free to fill out these these forms for us. Uh, we shouldn't take you more than two to three minutes. Um, and for that, Karen, we want to thank you so much for your participation, for your time uh, sharing this um, experience in Jamaica. And um, yep, just thank you and and, and uh, hope um, hope your do your days goes well. And with this, we would um, close the session for today. Uh, thank you very much. Um, thank you, audience, and continue to be safe and vigilant as we all tackle this pandemic. Yes, as a quick commercial, I'm going to do a little commercial before we close out. Um, I've been doing it in all the other webinars, but it's important as I mean, many of you have known, you've joined the webinar through the Crew Plus Academy website. So just uh, know that the resources of the website will be uploaded into, or sorry, the resources of those webinars are going to be uploaded in the resource section of the website. So I'm sharing my screen now. You can see the website and resources. You go down and you'll see all the webinars we've done so far. Um, if you click on the plus, then you will see a quick description of the webinar and then we'll have the PDFs of both presentations, original and translated, as well as the uh, recorded webinars. So feel free to take a look at not only at this session, but all the other ones um, for future references. You can also click on the English version of the website and you'll find the same resources. With that, um, thank you everyone and stay safe. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.